If you're into that 80s vibe, you can check out the Club Vector clothing range. Link for that is down below, as is the link for U7 Buy. Cut out the nonsense of FIFA points and the random gamble, and just go straight to the source. Use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to another video. I'm a little bit late on doing this, but here we are. Uh, we're going to talk about Footmas and Footmas predictions. I have got an unbelievable amount of cards to get through. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into the first one, and I'm going to go for the Premier League first. There's going to be a lot of Premier League players in here. Tierney, uh, the lowest rated. He may potentially go up to an 82, but uh, the logical inform would be an 81. Decent pace, good physical. We've not really seen an awful lot of him. He's insanely difficult to pack as well. Uh, with that being said, let's move on. Uh, moving away from the Premier League, this is going to be the first of many players who didn't make it into Team of the Week that I think didn't make it in there because they're about to get footmas cards. Cyprian scored two on a weekend uh, with Nice winning and he didn't get an inform. That normally means he's coming into uh, footmas. Uh, Zagadou, Z Zag Zagadou, I'm not quite sure how to say his name. Uh, last year there was a very expensive Dortmund defender SBC for footmas. He doesn't look as good but like, I think it was a kanji wasn't it? So um, I don't know, I've kind of gone for the same vibe. Unkunku sticking with the Bundesliga although a position change to a left wing. He's been playing further forward for Leipzig this season than uh, his card suggests for, uh, for FIFA. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him as a striker or a left wing. Moving on to Mendy, uh, many of these cards will be those type of sort of overpowered players that people were using in the beginning. People still use today but are starting to fall away. Mendy will be a nice little update and I'm sure this will be a very expensive SBC that many will want to do. Sticking with fullbacks, we've gone over to Italy for Florenzi. He normally gets a special card of some description. It's normally a foot birthday card where he's moved into the midfield but I wouldn't be surprised if we got a footmas version of Florenzi, seeing as how he's done nothing so far for Roma. Uh, speaking of fullbacks, once more, we're going to stick with it and we're going to move back over to France for Kenny Lala. Remember last year, Lala had about 28 informs by this time last year. Well, this year, he's done absolutely nothing for Strasbourg, so we could potentially see uh, a footmas card for him. Uh, Loddy, a guy that I actually quite like in this FIFA. He's not like, uh, you know, foot champs card or anything like that, but. It's a card that you can use for objectives. He's, he's quite quick. He's, he's not too bad on the ball. He's got decent dribbling stats. Nice little updated version for him would not go amiss. Danny Olmo, who has just scored against Manchester City, actually, as I'm uh, recording this. Nice to see him get on the score sheet. I don't think he'll be in that league for very long, but it would be nice to see him celebrated with what looks like, to be fair, a pretty decent footmas card. Uh, speaking of players who aren't necessarily performing, of course, we're not talking about Danny Olmo. We were, of course, talking about Florenzi. Yusuf Poulsen is uh, sort of in and out of the Leipzig team these days because he, he, didn't re he hasn't really captured his form from last year. So I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to give him a kick up the backside by giving him a footman's card. Moving on to Paulista. A card that is semi-usable right now. Well, I say semi-usable. Was at the beginning of the game. Fallen away quite quickly. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get a footmas card. Would be quite decent in, in terms of pace and defensive stats as well. Good links into uh, various different teams. Mendes. Remember this guy from last year? He had a team of the season. He was absolutely insane. Well, he's done... Well, I, say, I wouldn't say he's done nothing for Leon, But Leon haven't been at their very best this season so far. So, again, I wouldn't be surprised to see EA give, uh, give him a helping hand. The next card is Sissoko. Now, of course, people still use his base card in FIFA. It would be really nice to see this. I fully expected him to get an inform this week, but EA had other ideas. Potentially a footmas idea. Now, that wouldn't surprise me, although having said that, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if EA just completely ignored it and didn't give him anything. But I would love to see this. Something I wouldn't really love to see is this Shakiri card. Now, I'm a Liverpool fan, but he doesn't look that great. If they moved him into a central position as a striker, cam or whatever, maybe, maybe then I would be interested. But they would really need to boost that pace, and I just can't see them doing it. We are going to stick with Liverpool for the final time today, and we're going to talk about Dejan Lovren. Um, just something random to throw out there. Why not? I'm, I'm pretty certain, though, that Lovren has been given a footmas card in the past. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not too sure on that, though, so you'll have to correct me in the comments. Moving on to Inaki Williams. I've position changed him, though, from a striker to a right wing. 
a very, very pacey physical player with uh, with decent finishing and dribbling as well. And again, I wouldn't be surprised to see Anaki Williams. He's usually in a promo, whether it be a foot birthday with a position change or scream or something of that nature. So foot must coming up. Might as well throw him in there. Herrera, very underrated card this year for Atletico Madrid. I've got a couple of Atletico players knocking about the place. Uh, we'll get to those further along. But um an updated version of him would be nice. I think that's what I want to see from EA, really. You know, cards that are sort of decent but not quite there anymore, just updated. I think that's honestly that's what Footmas is all about. Rashford is another one of those players that theoretically should be in Team of the Week but isn't. Is that because they've had the uh, Footmas bug and they want to give him that card to make people go crazy for SBCs? The way that it normally works, of course, is that we have three players a day. So that's why it's a nice mixture of low-rated, medium-rated, and then high-rated cards. This next one, Marlos, he looks like an absolute animal from the bench. 85 rated, decent pace, insanely good dribbling, uh, quite good passing and then uh, semi-decent shooting as well. But for a right mid, as a super sub, could be pretty tasty. First goalkeeper to speak of is going to be Ariola of Real Madrid. Again, he just needs updating, you know, he's so good for links. Strong link, or oh, hyperlink I should say, into Rafael Varane's new inform and various other players as well. Uh, it would be really nice to get uh, a usable goalkeeper with strong links to certain players. Arthur of Barca. Now, the reason I've gone for a Barcelona player, and he's not the only one uh, this week, uh, or the, in this video, sorry, is because they should really have had an inform in this week's Team of the Week, but they weren't given one. So I'm thinking, again, maybe EA held them back because they want to distribute them on Friday for Footmas. Axel Witzel was a card that at the beginning of the year uh, a lot of people were using because he was one of those really solid CDMs. Uh, he's fallen away a lot because of uh, how sort of how far we've come with certain cards. He's just not usable anymore. So with an updated version, he may very well be. Anderson of West Ham not having the best of times there. West Ham are semi-struggling, I would say, this season. Not really where they should or would want to be. So... I think EA may need to give a couple of the players helping hands. And uh, Anderson's uh, Footmas card could be very, very nice. Did he get one last year, though? I don't know. Pepe up next. Normally gets a screen card. Was left out this year. Could get given a Footmas card. It's one of those cards I don't think would be that expensive because of the, the links and the league. You know, it's not that easy to fit him into a team. Especially this year where you don't really have that many great uh, Portuguese league players. But I'd still not. I'd like to see it. Perisic of Bayern. Uh, I don't think he's doing too badly for Bayern, but then again, Bayern in general aren't doing that great. Uh, but uh, a decent looking card, left wing. I mean, they could change it into a, a central card. I wouldn't put it past them and I wouldn't be against it either. I think it might actually be a, a, of, of more use to me as a central card. But still, uh, moving on to João Cancelo of Manchester City. Of course, Carl Walker has an 86 rated card. So in keeping with that, I thought it'd be nice to see an 86 Cancelo. Seeing as how Cancelo is a better right back than Carl Walker in FIFA 20, anyway I'd be chuffed to see this and I would go out of my way to get it done moving on to Manolas of Napoli this looks like a sensational card not the best in terms of passing or shooting of course but defensive uh, capability combined with pace looks brilliant this would be one of those really expensive ones and every time I look at these now I'm thinking hang on did he get one in not maybe not last year but the year before I remember seeing some sort of special Manolas card it might have been a foot birthday Jimenez our final Atletico Madrid player I believe but again another centre back another high rated centre back not easy to link into a team or unless you have you know the likes of Oblak or something but still very usable now that that pace is above 70 and uh, good defensive stats in there as well. Milinkovic Savic is a player that missed out on this week's team of the week and they gave it to Luis Alberto. In my opinion, Milinkovic Savic deserved it more. And again, did EA have this up their sleeve so they had to swerve it and go with someone else? Because there are loads of players this week that they've just missed out of team of the week for no reason. Sula, another defender, but you know, one worth mentioning. Good pace, very good defensive stats, decent physicals in there as well. Uh, again, one of those that I think will be semi-expensive, but not overly expensive. Although EA do have a history of overpricing Footmas card SBC. So just bear that in mind. Another goalkeeper to speak of then in Chesney. Not our final goalkeeper, but another keeper. He's already got an inform this year, 87 rated. But again, I wouldn't be surprised to see an 88 rated Footmas card. And again, it should be one of those really cheap ones. This may, might even be an objective, because bear in mind we are going to have those. 
Paul Pogba, obviously been injured for a uh, large period of the season. Looks set to move away from Manchester United in January, if you can believe any of the papers. So I wouldn't be surprised for EA to give him one last hoorah, as it were, in a Manchester United shirt, and indeed with Premier League links as an SBC. But don't expect this one to be cheap. That is going to be very, very pricey. Sticking with Manchester United, and our final goalkeeper of the video is going to be David De Gea. We've got two big boys up next, so be, uh, get ready for that. But uh, David De Gea, you know, Manchester United are not doing very well, although in recent results they have done. But David De Gea hasn't really been up for an inform for, for a while, so I wouldn't be surprised by this. And finally, or penultimately I should say, Neymar. Again, one of those players that missed out on Team of the Week. This would be a whopping SBC. I mean, it's up there with, with messy SBC, you know. It, it's going to be expensive. But again... EA need to do something to drain the market of cards. The market is somewhat... It's not, like, dead, but it is damn near. And I wouldn't be surprised to see this. I've said that a lot, haven't I? Uh, moving on, and finally, Luis Suarez. Maybe I should have ended with Neymar. But Luis Suarez, yet another player who, in my opinion, deserves to have a team of the week this week. Lionel Messi got himself a hat-trick in a 5-2 win. But with him having team of the group stage and a player of the month card out today... Uh, this card was next in line, and EA ignored him completely. I don't know why, because he hasn't had a special card this year. It would have been nice to see it, so my thinking is they might have this up their sleeve. And that brings us to the end. I've tried to include a nice mix of players from various leagues, but just knowing EA as I do and as we all do, they favour La Liga, the Premier League in particular, Serie A, Bundesliga, and the French League. Those are the only leagues, realistically, they care about. I've thrown a few in from Portuguese League and various other leagues around the place, but more often than not, what we see is just the top five leagues over-saturated with players. So that's why I've tried to keep it in with realistic uh, expectations and not give you sort of boosted championship players that a lot of you will get excited about and then just never come to fruition but that's going to do it for today's video let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the players that we've spoken about today and maybe someone that you think is going to get it in the comment section down below if you have enjoyed it hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now